what's up y'all how y'all doing today it's your girl Krishan. and i'm back with another freaking video now first things first i mean you tell a like comment and subscribe also make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from your girl i am 34 weeks i'm actually 34 weeks in about four days um but this week has been super duper duper busy to where like i didn't have time to sit there and record I usually record the day of i hit a week um but yeah i am 34 weeks and um has a, anything really changed being 34 weeks from 33 33 i really didn't do an update i just took you guys to the doctor with me um but certain things has changed that i did not explain in the 33 weeks so let's just get into it so i feel like the movement of the baby has completely changed i feel like now because she's squished in there and there's just like not that much more room to go um yeah, instead of these little doop doop kicks, they're like, hey, boop, I'm here. I get these stretches in these rolls, in these, like, maybe she's, like, just turning to this other side. Like, but I'm to the point where it's, like, these little kicks, doop doop, ain't happening no more. Like, whole feet and arms and legs and just stretching, like, these slow movements across my entire stomach is what's happening right now. Um also me pottying which is crazy because i just wasn't going to the bathroom a lot and i thought because when i got pregnant with my son at 30 weeks around 30 weeks i was just peeing like crazy like peeing was coming out sneezing coughing everything she doesn't do that to me she doesn't do that to me so but just recently this this week i have start going to the bathroom um even more and it's starting to be these little trinkles it feels like it's a lot it feels like oh my god i'm a burst and then i sit down and it's like like two drips and i'm just like really you made me run upstairs i can't breathe <laughs> like i literally almost lost my life coming up these stairs trying to make it and you tell me that's that's what it's for like that's what it's for um other than that, I feel like my eating, my eating has been different for a minute though. I have not been hungry. There's sometimes I'm on the phone with my mom or my sister and it's like five o'clock in the afternoon, like days over, sun is going down and they ask like, what have you ate today? And I'm like, nothing. I ain't felt it. Like I ain't been in the mood to eat. And then now when I do eat, like I get full very, very, very fast and I'm not sure if it's um me trying to force myself to eat or me just used to eating a certain amount and I'm overeating or I'm just starting to get sick all all of a sudden um I've been throwing up again so I think what I personally think is I'm so used to eating what I eat you know what I'm saying so I try to finish everything even though I feel full I still try to finish because I'm like girl you know you can eat more than that and then I'm stuffing myself and I'm throwing it back up. Um, other than that, I've been very, very, very active. So, like, I've been here and there. Um, I just had a baby shower and a birthday party all in one. That day kicked my... Woo! You guys, I was literally sore. Couldn't move. Couldn't nothing. Like, my man had to help me out of bed. Like, I kind of wanted to cry how in pain i was like my feet my back everything was just so stiff on me because i pretty much did everything like on my own like certain things like my man um like hung up but as far as like the balloon arch i hung that up i blew most 90 percent of the balloons i it took me hours to do that i wasn't done with that balloon arch at four in the morning in the balloon bottles and just decorating and just everything and like I said, that whole week I was doing stuff. So like um, Monday, I would do half the garage. Tuesday, I'll do the other half. And then I start on decorations. Wednesday, is, um, if you followed my, my vlogs, I was doing a lot of DIYs. So like my baby's name with the flower wall, um, <clears throat> my baby's name with the flowers and stuff like that. Like all that stuff took time and that took energy and it took a lot out of me, you guys. So literally... We had the party on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday were just so horrible for me. 
I I felt like I was literally just broken. Like I literally was like, I'm not doing anything else. Like I'm not leaving this bed unless I had to go potty until this baby comes. Seriously, because I was just in so much freaking pain. Finally, the pain, it, it has starting to wear off and um i'm back active again i can't sit down i try to stay in bed as much as i could because i do be feeling like sick nowadays but um i just be having too much to do i literally every time i get up i feel like there's something to do there's always something to do around this freaking house and i hate it but it's like i go downstairs and i see a project i go in the garage and i see just stuff everywhere and on top of that like the cleanup after the party took another two days. So that... Woo! <laughs> but as far as me and my body and being 34 weeks, um, I'm just barely... I've been uncomfortable. I've been uncomfortable for a very long time. But now I'm starting to not really get any sleep. Comf like, period. Like, I'm really just not... I, I toss and I turn throughout the entire night. And I'm constantly dehydrated. I'm not sure if I'm just dehydrated or what... But I constantly, constantly, constantly am drinking water and I'm constantly using a lot of Carmex. So I'm not sure what is going on between my mouth and lips, but your girl has been very dry. And I'll try to kill as much water as I can, but it sucks because the second I kill some water, I keep this water near me like at all times. The second I kill water, I'm running back and forth to the bathroom and it's like I hate going to the bathroom because nothing's coming out two trinkles like i'm running to the bathroom for two trinkles it's a just it's just annoying other than that i have another doctor's appointment on the um 24th i will be bringing you guys along with me um i just don't know what else i, I have a game plan and everybody's saying that i'm very stubborn i won't do what people tell me to do which I try to listen to people. <laughs> I try to listen. But um, they're saying because I'm so stubborn, she's going to be stubborn and she's not going to come when I want. And I know that a lot of times people say, I want my baby this day or this day, but it cannot be this day. And that's what the freak happens. It, it happens on the day you say it cannot happen. <laughs> um, yeah, no, she's going to come when I when I want her to come. That's just my opinion. <laughs> That's just what I say, and that's just how it's going to be. I want her to come at 37 weeks. As soon as I'm 37 weeks, I'm, I'm doing everything. If you think I'm active now, people think I'm active and I'm doing a whole bunch of stuff now. Just wait, honey. Like, I'm telling you, at 35 and some days, not 35, 36 and some days, your girl is going crazy when I, with the walks and the, the, the squats and the bouncing and Everything that I can do besides, you know, doing things that's going to hurt me or harm my child, I'm doing because she's getting to me. And as far as my body, I wish I could show you guys, but I'm like really self-conscious when it comes to that. Like, I, I don't mind showing you my belly, but as far as like the skin of my belly, she is tearing me up. My son didn't give me that many stretch marks. He really didn't. And the stretch marks he gave me were light. Um... And then I gained my, I got my own stretch marks by gaining weight after him. And those were kind of dark, but she's giving me a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of dark, dark, dark stretch marks. And they're going everywhere. And in the beginning I was on it, I was putting all type of oils and things like that, that I bought stretch marks, uh, spray and stuff like that. But I just didn't feel like I was getting that big. I didn't feel like uh, I was growing like that. I didn't feel as big as what I was before. So, and on top of that, I'm under the weight that I was prior. Okay, when I got pregnant with my baby, my daughter right now, I was 174. Um, but before then, before I got to 174, I ain't gonna lie, I was 205. And I lost weight to, to um, 174. And I'm still under that 205. I'm right now... I'm at 191 and I keep going up and down between the um the 190s and the 180s. So I'm still not as big as I truly was last year. So I really didn't think like, hmm, I'm going to get that many stretch marks because I'm still under the weight that I was. Nope. <laughs> Ooh, I was wrong. She has tore me up. I have a bunch of stretch marks and I'm just like, 
once you have them they're just you just really can't get rid of them i don't care what kind of creams and stuff is out there there's lightning cream and all type of stuff that they say work but a lot of that stuff just don't work you know um other than that i'm just excited that i am now a month and i'm done and in my head it's not even a month in my head i'm like girl you got about three weeks <laughs> You got about three and a half. Well, not even a half. You got like two and a half, girl. And you're done. So that's going to be my 34-week update. Catch me in the next one, you guys. Bye. Don't miss any more videos. Hit that notification bell.